Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best AMD radio on settings for Fortnite. Once again, this video is going to be valid for this season. So make sure to stick around till the end. Do leave your specs in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, in this video, I'm going to be covering how you can optimize your AMD Radeon graphics card to improve your FPS in Fortnite. So let's begin up with step number one, that is Windows settings. And for that, you have to simply search for settings on your PC. And over here, you have to go over to the gaming section and then go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. You always want game bar to be turned off since it consumes a lot of memory. After that, go open game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. I have tested this multiple times on multiple devices. Game mode on will always give you better FPS. Right beneath that, go over to graphics section. Then over here, click on change default graphics settings and enable optimization for windowed games. This will help you to decrease your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then over here, click on the browse button and add Fortnite from the installation location. I've already added Fortnite, so simply go over to options and then click on high performance, then simply click on save. Once it is done, simply close this. Now, next step is the Fortnite compatibility settings. And for that, you have to search for Fortnite on your PC. You have to find Win64 shipping, click on open file location, then you'll be in the installation directory of Fortnite. Now you'll find in shipping.exe, right click on that and go over to properties. Then you have to go over to compatibility and then make sure to click on disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high DPI settings. Click on override high DPI scaling behavior. Select application, click on OK and then click on apply. You have to make sure that you do the same for Win64 shipping and the Fortnite launcher.exe itself. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however like how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number 3 is the actual AMD Radeon settings for Fortnite and for that you have to right click on any AMD radio of your desktop and then click on AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Once you're on the home page, go over to the gaming section and then in games you have to locate Fortnite right over here. First thing over here that you have to find is a Radeon Super Resolution. You have to make sure that this is enabled. The sharpen effect should be somewhere between 75 to 85 percent. I personally like 80 percent, the better one, but you can pick anyone between 75 to 85, whichever suits best for you. For AMD fluid motion frames, you have to disable this. Anti lag, you have to turn this thing on. Boost and chill, you have to disable them. Image sharpening, you have to disable this thing. Radeon enhanced sync. Once again, if you have a monitor, you can turn this thing on and see if this gives you better FPS. But if you have a television, do not turn this thing on. Wait for vertical refresh. Keep it always off. Enable the advanced option right over here. Anti-aliasing. Use application settings. Anti-aliasing method. Go with multi-sampling. Morphological anti-aliasing. Turn this thing off. And isotropic filtering. You have to enable this thing and set the quality to 2x. For texture filtering quality, you can go with performance and surface format optimization highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on tessellation mode go with amd optimized and open gl triple buffering simply turn this thing off now for the display settings you have amd free sync i have a free sync compatible monitor so i have to turn this thing on but if that is not the case for you you can simply turn this thing off as well scaling mode you can simply go with use global setting integer scaling simply go with global settings launch with amd ifinity turn this thing off custom color you have to turn this thing on and over here you will find your contrast you have to increase your contrast to 110 and the saturation to 150 or you can even go up to 160 this will give you better colors in the game 
Display color enhancement, go with global settings and color deficiency correction, go with global settings. Once that is done, you have to go over to record and stream and then over here go over to settings and make sure that record desktop, borderless region capture, show indicator, all of them is turned off. Also instant replay, instant GIF and in-game replay, turn all of this off as well because this will keep the recorder running while you play the game and this will impact the FPS. After that, you have to go to performance section, go over to the tuning part and right over here, you have to scroll all the way down until you find your GPU and over here, you'll find AMD smart access memory. Now, this is not available for me, but if this thing is available for you, simply turn this thing on. It is going to be super beneficial for FPS in games. Once this is done, simply close your AMD Radeon software and now let's move to the next thing that is Fortnite config settings. So for that, you have to press a Windows and R key together and then simply go over to app data. Over here, you have to go to local, search for Fortnite game over here. And once you're in Fortnite game, go over to saved. Then you have to go to config, go to Windows client, and then you'll find game user settings.ini. Simply open it up with notepad and over here, you'll find all of the game settings. The first thing that you have to do over here is the motion blur. You have to set this thing to false, show grass, you have to set this thing to false. Then you have GPU crash debugging, set this thing to false. Stop rendering in background, you have to set this thing to false. B latency tweak one and latency tweak true. You have to set first one to false and second one to two. Then you have to scroll a little bit down until you find the DLSS quality. You have to set this thing to one. Over here, you'll find an option called low input latency mode is enabled. Simply set this thing to true. Then scroll again. And at the end, you'll find ray tracing. You have to set this thing to false. Scalability groups over here is a very important part to take a look at. Your resolution quality for me, I have set this thing to 90 because 90 gives me the perfect amount of 3D resolution to play the game at maximum FPS. However, if you have a super low end computer, you can set this thing to 85 or 80 as well. Below 80, the game becomes very much pixelated and it's almost not playable. View distance quality, I have set this thing to 2, but you can set this thing to 1 or 3 as well. Shadow quality, 0. Except the landscape quality and the shading quality, set everything back to 0. For the shading quality, I'd even suggest you guys to go with 1 because that is going to give you the better FPS. At the end of the file, you'll also find D3DRHI preference. Over here, you will find preferred RHI, set this thing to DX11 and ES31. This is the performance graphic fidelity. So once you are done with these settings, press Ctrl and S key together, close this thing, right click on this file, go over to properties and make sure to set this thing to read only so whenever you make the changes in game or the game tries to make changes to your config file it won't let it do so these are the settings that you're going to take in the game so you do not have to manually go inside game and set anything else once that is done simply click on apply next step is fixing all of your internet issues using no ping no ping is a vpn that helps you to tunnel your internet connection straight from your pc to the game servers and you can download this for completely free from the link in the description below the application looks like this and it has over 1000 thousand games to choose from. I have to simply look up for Fortnite over here, then simply click on select the server. Then you have to find the nearest region to you and you can even find it with ping. Over here, I am getting the least amount of ping on Dubai server. So I have to simply click on optimize game button and it will one click optimize the game for me. Best part about no ping is the settings gear over here, which offers you turbo game that allows you to reduce your input latency. So simply turn this thing on and then boost FPS. You have to simply click on this button and copy the exact same settings to improve your in-game FPS as well. No ping is highly valuable if you are playing on Wi-Fi or even LAN connection since it helps you to reduce your input latency as well as ping in game. I highly suggest you guys to go check out no ping links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Then over here look for your local disk C simply click on create and name it Fortnite just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity if you want to restore everything back to normal without any data loss. Last and final step is the Fortnite AMD optimization pack and this pack is mandatory for a few reasons. First thing over here is the AMD GPU priority. Once again, you can download this pack from the link in the description below. 
and the first folder over here will offer you the amd optimization registries and i highly recommend you guys to do these registries on your pc first one is the best gpu settings second one is the amd sfio a high priority third one is the gpu energy driver and fourth one is power throttling and lastly is prioritizing your amd gpu itself you can simply double click to run all of these files to apply them to your registry and it will help you to optimize your amd graphics card for fps second folder over here is also important that has ram optimization i have left a ton of presets over here if you want to know what ram you're using you can simply search for system information on your pc and then look for installed physical memory it is 32 gb for me so i have to run the 32 gb ram registry over here but you have to run the one that you have installed on your pc and once again if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default Third folder is also important that is the Fortnite optimization in which I have left exclusive full screen as well as Fortnite optimization. These are the same files that I have left in my previous Fortnite optimization pack for chapter 5. So if you have not yet already installed it, you can do this from over here without having to go back to that pack. If you have not yet already, make sure to apply these two registries and if you want to restore them back, you can always do it from here. Last folder is the completely optional folder which is the Windows optimization folder in which I have left disable background application applications, disable downloading maps and unnecessary services from your PC. Once again, if all of the above steps help you to improve your FPS, you do not have to do this. But once again, over here, I highly recommend you guys to run all three of them for better performance. If you don't like it, you can always revert them back from here. And lastly, over here, the super important thing that is the disable memory compression. This will help you to reduce this amount of services running in the background for allotting memory compression that doesn't really help you in gaining FPS in games. So you can disable it by right clicking and running it as administrator and it will automatically disable memory compression on your PC. I have already done it. Once again, once you're done applying all of these settings, I recommend you guys to restart your PC once before going into the game and checking your FPS. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button. Also, we are rolling channel membership on the channel, so if you're not a member yet and you want to show some support to the channel, you can always join my membership. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.